If you're considering a move to Ellicott City, or maybe you're just interested in the area, then this video is for you. In this video, I'll be discussing the pros and the cons of living in our lovely Ellicott City. Hi there and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Audrey Rozier and I am a local realtor here in the Central Maryland area. And in today's video, I just wanted to discuss the pros and the cons of living in our lovely Ellicott City. First and foremost, let me just address a few statistics about the area. Ellicott City is considered to be a suburban area and consists of a little over 72,000 people. The median age of a person there is 41 years old and it has a city statistics livability score of about 64. With that being said, let's get into our first pro. Let's talk about the crime rates. According to Neighborhood Scout, Ellicott City is safer than 60% of all US cities. Your chances of becoming a victim of a violent crime in Ellicott City are 1 in 1,266. The chance of you becoming a victim of a violent crime on average in the entire state of Maryland is 1 in 255. I think it's also important to note that the majority of crime that happens in Ellicott City is particularly property crime. So let's move on to our first con of Ellicott City. So. Ellicott City is a little expensive, it really is on the expensive side. The cost of living is 55% higher than the national average, and according to Niche, the median rent amount is right around $1,600. However, I am sure that has gone up with the crazy inflation that we had this past year. There's also the median home value of $537,000, and for reference, the national median home value is $217,000. That's literally more than double. It also seems that the cost of groceries is also a bit higher, so there's that as well. Next up is another pro. The median household income in Ellicott City is right around $131,000. For reference, the national average is almost $63,000. It's also pretty cool that the majority of people in Ellicott City own their homes, and according to Niche, about 74% of the residents own their homes compared to the 26% of residents that rent. That's pretty cool from a standpoint of the average income is paying down principal and building equity for the majority of the folks that are living there. Up next is another con. According to walkscore.com, Ellicott City is a very car dependent city. It has minimal transit and is somewhat bikeable, but there aren't a ton of bike lanes and it has about three bus lines. However, if you do have a vehicle, it is pretty easy to hop on one of the main roads to get to the local highways. Another pro is that the air quality in Ellicott City is pretty good most of the time. It has an annual average of about 25 reported from the air quality index, and on a scale of zero to 500, that is pretty good considering 500 is the worst and zero is the best. Moving on to our last and final pro, let's talk about the traffic. And sometimes the traffic in Ellicott City can be downright a mess. One way to get there is by taking Route 100, and just like almost every other local highway here in Maryland, it backs up at certain points during the day, mostly during rush hour. And now let's talk about the best and the final pro. We have to talk about the schools because Ellicott City has some of the best. I bet you thought I forgot to talk about that, but I did not, I just saved the best for last. Like I mentioned before, the median home price in Ellicott City is pretty high, primarily because of how great the public schools are. They have an a rating on niche and have several top schools with over four stars overall it seems like ellicott city is a pretty nice place to live it ranks number four on the list of best places to live in maryland and it ranks number four again on the list of best suburbs to live in maryland and it ranks number five on the list of best suburbs to live to raise a family in maryland Honestly, those lists sound like I made them up, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave them down in the description below. All of the resources that I use to conduct this research will also be down in the description below, so take some time to look at that. If you have any questions about the area, feel free to schedule a call with me via the link below. I will give you my honest opinion on whether I feel like it's a great fit for you or not. And as always, I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you on the next one.